Hi, this is Joe from Prep Agent. I'm here with my friend Lolita Petrova, who just passed her real estate exam and she speaks multiple languages and she's super smart and she's gonna share us some tips to help you guys. Take it away, Lolita. Hi, Joe. It's finally nice to meeting you alive uh, on a video. Um, my name is Lola, short for Lolita. I just recently passed my real estate exam in Pennsylvania. And as you can already tell, uh, English is not my first language. Uh, it wasn't an easy road. And after my first exam, I felt overwhelmed. I didn't pass for the first time. I failed a national and state exam. So I didn't let this, you know, kill my motivation. I let this failure be my motivation because, you know, my goal was to become a real estate agent. And there's some things that I need to learn, not just because, you know, I have to learn them and just get it in my head. No, because I wanted to. I wanted to see the career that I'm going to be working in, find out more. And I purchased a premium package, I believe, on Pep Agent. And, you know, here and there I was attending live webinars daily. Then I was doing questions, questions that would help me a lot. Instead of reading the books, you know, books and vocabulary, it's all good, but questions, questions, questions. Because when you do questions, you prepare for the exam, you know, because there's going to be questions. And yeah, it's just, I, I was very nervous, anxious about the exam that I'm, you know, had doubts to myself. And on the second exam, I tried your analogy about the three columns. When you put uh, first column, the answers that you know 100%, uh, middle column is the answers that you're like 50-50, and the third is you're not sure at all. Listen, I went back and I'm like, wow, I know so much and there's just so little that I don't know because there was, you know, two possible answers and you're like, uh-huh, here it is, the tricky ones, but it's okay. It, it's going to happen to be on this just just understand the material don't don't think don't overwhelm yourself with studying the last day you know oh your exam is tomorrow and you have to study 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 no this is not how it's going to work take your time i took two weeks after my first exam to schedule for the new one and i did it right away because they didn't have the dates available later on or something like this so i passed my exam december 30th which was great, you know, before New Year's, the best gift I could ever receive. And right now I'm currently waiting for my license and working on my social media, photo shoots, and just trying to let the world know who I am and where I come from as well. I want to thank you for this opportunity and I want to thank you for your help, not just to pass the exam, but also to help me grow my career and let the pe people know who I am and what I do. This, this is great from you, Joe. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And speaking of which, we're going to have your links to all the social media you're building in the show notes below. So we're going to make sure all that is there. And I love that you're working on that already because I say it, but not everybody takes my advice of starting to build their social media before their license arrives. Because it sounds like you get the idea that you don't want to get your license. Be like, oh, I could have been doing all this stuff two months ago. You started building it, started developing your photo shoots, you said, your Instagram and Facebook, so that when your license comes, you're ready to rock. And I really wish more people did that because you're really not doing a license activity until you get a client. Yeah. You know, and that takes a little time. So while you're waiting for your license, you could be doing all those things that are not license activities building up your following, building up your sphere of influence, all those things. So you're going to be ready to go. The only one more thing I want to suggest for people that interviewing um, agencies is to interview at least three. My mistake was that I interviewed a few and I was like, okay, I'm going to jump in this. And then while I was in the process of getting my license, I had to exchange the agency that I'm going to work with and this at its own time for me to wait longer for my license. So with that being said, just make sure to interview at least three agencies and to see different opportunities because all of them offer good things, but you want to get the best, the best training, the best, you know, pay. We all want to get that money. 
but yeah, with that being said. That is good to interview the different agencies and explore all your options. Another thing you could be doing while you're studying or until your license comes. And I also want people to realize that it's not permanent. You could change brokerages. You and there's no time duration. You have to, yeah, be yeah. stuck with them. And if one does bind you for like a long term, you could take a step back and say, not for me, unless of course you love them. But yeah. majority of the time, you could change whenever you want. So I want everybody to remember, you know, these decisions aren't permanent. You'll be able to move and do different things and, you know, explore the best option for you as your career grows. Yeah, you're right on that. hundred percent. So where are you going to be selling real estate? So in Philadelphia currently, but I'm also planning on getting New Jersey licensed. So I'm going to be a little bit of both. This is where, um, this is the only two states that work with each other that you are allowed to have two licenses together because I believe that if I have a license in Philadelphia, I cannot have a license in Florida at the same time. This is two different places. Right. You got to look into those rules. Most of us aren't going from state to state, but if you are, you know, look into different state laws and see what you can do. So with that being said, I want everybody to look for you when you want to sell, including my brother, because he's in that area and I want him to sell his house. So, you know. Thank you so much. I'm here. I'm yes. here. I'm not going anywhere. So everybody look at the show notes below and follow her. We're going to follow your career. And I'm glad we met. And I love that you were able to share this information with everybody. Thank you so much, Joe. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. Bye.